What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a number of exploits found in iOS 8 on the lock screen that will allow you to get around it and do stuff like post Facebook posts, check recent call logs, check recent messages, go through notes, stuff like that. It was surprising to me that this actually still exists in iOS 8. I mean, come on Apple. We've been through so many bypasses, so many lock screen glitches, yet there are still so many ways to get into iOS and see information that you shouldn't be able to see from a lock screen. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the actual exploits. Now don't think I'm making this video to help you steal phones and get into information that you shouldn't be in. No, I mean, videos like these actually help Apple patch these things faster because they're usually not aware of them on a small scale if only a few number of people know. So in a way, it's a very good thing. And also in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to protect your phones against any sort of unauthorized entry and any snooping around. Now this bug was not discovered by me. It was discovered by a fellow YouTuber. I'll put his link down below in the description. It's kind of interesting to me because this guy has a job where he sits around a lot and he plays around with his iPhone on the lock screen, basically abusing it, trying to get any way in. And personally, I've only found one lock screen bug, and that was the one, if you remember, with airplane mode and hitting a recent missed call. It would boot you into the last application you had when you locked the phone. So that was the only one I found. However, there is another one I'm working on, and I might actually get access into applications in iOS 8. I'll be showing you guys that in another video. But for now, let's go ahead and see how this bug works. All right, so I am currently running iOS 8 on my iPhone 5S. This is the GM, but it is the final build. So there's no difference between this and the final release release. Anyways, inside of here, I just want to show you, I do have a lock screen passcode right here. And my index finger does not work. So I'm going to be using the edge of it anyways. All right, so first test, let's go ahead and post something to Facebook without my permission. Facebook. As you can see, you need a passcode to get into Facebook. But if you ask it to post a Facebook post for you, that's a different story. Post to Facebook. What would you like to say? The iPhone security lock screen is flawed. Here's your new Facebook status. Okay, I posted your Facebook status. And this actually does post to Facebook. Now this bug does work both in iOS 7 and iOS 8. Now you can do the same thing with Twitter, but only in iOS 7. It's not compatible with iOS 8. So that's the first exploit found on the lock screen in iOS 8. There's four more. Now, all of these bugs do use Siri. So you absolutely do have to have Siri enabled, but I found that four out of five people do have Siri enabled. They don't take the time to disable it to increase their security. Anyways, next one. Show me contact test. Here's the contact info for test. So if you do know the name of the contact, it will actually show you the phone number inside. So I don't know if you suspect your spouse of cheating and say something like, show me babe, it will actually open up the contact and inside you will be able to see it. Now, okay, that's not it. You can also see call logs. Siri, show me recent calls. Checking your call history. This is crazy guys, I couldn't believe. And it shows you the last 25 calls, the time, you know, that's crazy. Siri shows us to this on a lock screen where we can't even get into the phone. And I was really surprised to find this exists in iOS 7 and iOS 8. So besides the three that I have showed you, there are two more left in the lock screen. All right, so the next one, show me recent messages. You have eight messages from six people. I know, hello, I'm just playing with you. Baby, I'm in such a... So that's pretty much, let me read you messages that you have inside of your messages that you haven't already read. It won't actually show them to you, but it will read them to you. And that's crazy. The fact that that is allowed through the lock screen. Also, and this is the last one. This one to me as a frequent note user would be pretty important. Anyways, show me notes. Get in your notes. I so, found all of your notes. In here, as you can see, it shows you your notes. And if you want to actually open them, you can do that. Add to notes. Which note? The XX. What did you want to add to it? It. Okay, I made the 
change to your note. So it will actually show you the full note in here. And as you can see, my edition is right there. That's crazy, guys. The fact that you can see notes, you can see messages, you can see call logs, you can post to Facebook all from out the lock screen on both iOS 7 and iOS 8. You know, Apple is gonna be on this very soon, but in the meantime, just wanted to show you that is possible. The only way to actually protect yourselves against this is to disable Siri at the lock screen. Anyways, let's go inside and I'll show you how to do that. In here, you wanna disable Siri on the lock screen. So until Apple officially releases an update to iOS 8 and iOS 7, this is gonna exist and people can use Siri to look at all that stuff. So be careful guys, make sure Siri is disabled on the lock screen and you guys should be good until the next software update. Anyways, that's just about it. Again, I'm so surprised that this exists in both iOS 8 and iOS 7. Do expect a software update very soon. Hope you enjoyed this informative video, guys. Have a great day. Peace.